Welcome to the Clean Mesh Stage Video Overview for HollowEdit. HollowEdit supports the import of common geometry formats, but depending on your imported mesh data, it can be necessary to apply fixes or modifications to your geometry before applying more complex HollowEdit stages. Using the Clean Mesh Stage, you can reduce your mesh vertex count, fix degenerate triangles, fill holes in your mesh, or remove small floating geometry. Invisible mesh issues like degenerate triangles can cause failures in hollow edits mesh-based compression stages. Clean Mesh takes an input mesh stream and outputs a new edited mesh stream after applying fixes to prepare your data for further processing. While decimation can be applied to stabilize data non-destructively, when working with data that requires the application of the stabilized mesh stage, it is still recommended to run Clean Mesh before applying stabilized mesh. The Clean Mesh stage provides several options for mesh cleanup. The debride parameter eliminates any triangles that have two or fewer connected faces, effectively erasing faces that surround holes and potentially removing narrow strips of geometry. When used alongside the Remove All But Largest Component function, it becomes valuable for removing surplus thin strips of geometry that may arise from certain meshing algorithms. The Remove All But Largest component setting removes all disconnected pieces of mesh, except for the one with the largest area. This is ideal when there is floating geometry in your capture that you'd like removed. The Fix Degenerate Triangles setting configures the clean mesh stage to remove problem areas caused by overlapping vertices, causing zero area triangles called degenerate triangles. This is one of the most common reasons to use this stage, and we recommend you run a clean mesh stage with this setting enabled on every project as degenerate tries can cause failures while processing hollow edits mesh compression stages. You may also need to fix holes that may appear in your meshes using the close holes option. With this setting enabled, the clean mesh stage will fill any holes present in your source data. Close holes does not preserve UV layout, which will affect your clip's textures. When using close holes, it is often necessary to use the Generate UVs stage to create new UVs, following the Clean Mesh stage with close holes applied and before the Transfer Texture stage. The Remove Small Components setting can be used to automatically remove any geometry that has detached from the main mesh or small geometry that may have accidentally been captured in the data and needs to be removed. With this enabled, the Minimum Component Area setting will specify the area threshold under which isolated objects will be removed from the mesh. The Enable Decimation option allows you to reduce mesh density. This will help with performance and speed up processing in other stages. We recommend working with a vertex count of less than 100,000. The lower the vertex count, the more optimized your clips will be following compression. So work to a value that preserves your clips details while keeping in mind your compression goals. Working with mesh above 100,000 triangles will introduce slower processing and upload speeds. Enabling decimation will expose a few additional parameters to help facilitate reducing your mesh's density, where and how you would like. The target vertices value sets the target amount of vertices when applying decimation. The following parameters can affect the level of adherence to your target vertices count. Preserve UVs is enabled by default. With this parameter enabled, the vertices along the edge of UV islands are not removed during decimation. This maintains accurate textures even after decimation allowing application to pre-stabilize data without requiring additional texture updates before mesh compression. Processing with Preserve UVs enabled may limit decimation, prioritizing existing geometry along UV boundaries over the target vertex count. Disabling it destroys UVs but has no lower vertex count limit. When decimating from high to low density, consider disabling Preserve UVs and using Generate UVs and Transfer Texture stages afterward. When applying decimation in combination with the detect face stages results, face tracking weight will determine how much of the mesh detail is preserved in the face while decimating the remaining mesh. A value of zero will treat the area determined to be the mesh's face the same as the rest of the mesh. A value of one will result in no decimation to the face, and any value in between will result in a linear blend between the two. Skeleton Mask requires a skeleton and is a decimation setting that offers more granular selections of where the decimation is applied. Using this parameter will display a drop-down menu of bone options. Bone selected in this drop-down menu will create an area that will be excluded from decimation. This way, you will be able to decimate areas of your mesh while selecting other areas to preserve their details. Thanks for watching this introduction to the Clean Mesh stage in HollowEdit. 
To learn more, use the link in the description to check out our technical documentation. Please check out other videos on the Arcturus channel for more information on HollowEdit.